good movie poster should do three things well one tell a story two create suspense three it should be simple enough to draw the viewer's attention Tunji again from Caesar Graphics, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to create this speed movie poster. So what you're going to learn from this tutorial is how to use color to create drama. You're going to learn how to use shadow, midtones, and highlight to make your project look interesting. I already created the background for this tutorial. So if you need it, you can make use of the link in the description section of this video. And another good thing about this tutorial is you can use the background to create other movie posters but make sure it has to be action movie poster so sit back relax and keep watching so i'm going to create a new document now i click on file and i'm going to select new and i'm going to tag this project speed and my width is going to be 720 and my height is going to be 900 now the reason i'm using this frame size is because i'm posting this on instagram so i'm using the instagram portrait frame size my resolution is going to be 100 and i'm going to leave every other settings the way they are and i'm going to select the create button then i'm going to drag my background in like so so i'll drag that and drop here and i'm going to hit the enter key on my keyboard right yes i'm going to drag the car now and i'm going to um, increase the size of the car now i'm going to make it real big because um, the car is actually um, part of the focus here so i'm going to make this real big so i'm going to hit the enter key now and um, the next thing I'm going to do is to add gradient map to this. The color of my gradient map should go with the color of my background. Now, when I say my background, I'm referring to this side of my background. So I'm going to activate the car layer now and I'll go to gradient map. And I'm going to click on the clip icon and I'll make sure that I'm on the icon of the gradient map. All right. And I'm going to hide the car then activate the gradient map and go to the gradient editor then i'm going to double click on the slider which is the color picker and i'm going to pick this um, shade of brown here which is the dark brown color and i'm going to select the ok button then i'll double click on this and pick the highlight which is this side and i'm going to select the ok button then i'm going to activate another slider here by double clicking on the gradient editor and i'm going to pick this color here then uh, i'm going to hit the ok button but for this i think i need to make this a bit brighter like so right and this should be here and i'm going to select the ok button now let's make our car visible now and we have this now this is looking too dark so this is where we now need to play with the gradient editor so i'm going to move this down and i'm going to move this this side like so and this should go back so for those of you that don't understand the slider the lighter part of the slider serves as the highlight the middle all right with the middle slider serves as the mid-tone and then the last slider here serves as the shadow so i'm going to select the okay um, button select the car layer to create the motion effect so i'm going to go to filter go to blog gallery and select spin so then i'm going to move this down all right and i'm going to close this like this all right now you see that we can our car now look more like there's a movement going on there all right so i'm going to move this here and i'm going to reduce this so you don't want it to be too strong and i'm going to select the ok button all right so the next thing i'm going to do now is is to add the characters all right so i'm going to start with the picture of the lady so i'm going to drag that and drop here like so and i'm going to make this uh bigger like so all right then this should be here all right so for the dude i'm gonna drag that and drop here and i right click and select flip horizontal and i'll make this bigger like so all right now this should be behind the lady so i'm gonna position that here then this is too big so i'm gonna make this smaller like so and this should all right so i'm gonna shift select the two layers and i'm gonna activate free transform and rotate it this way so for the car, I think I need to, need to move that back a bit. Put the two um, layers in a group. 
all right so i'm going to call this characters okay and i'm going to start with adding the um gradient map to it so i'm going to i'm going to click on the gradient adjustment here and i'm going to click on this clip icon to say i only want to apply the gradient map to the layer of uh, my characters here so i'm going to go to the gradient editor and i'm going to start with this side of my slider so i'll double click now make sure you are on the icon of the gradient map all right so i'm going to click on the icon of the gradient map before i click on the gradient editor so i'm going to double click on this to bring out the color picker and i'm going to pick this shade of brown here and i'm going to make this a bit darker and select the OK button. Then I'm going to, I'm going to activate another slider again, and this time this should be on this side of uh, my background. I'm going to select the OK button, and this side I'm going to make it um, brighter. So I'm going to use white. Can you use the white from the car? And I'm going to select the OK uh, button. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to click on this and put, add another slider here, like so, and go to the um, slider editor, and then I'm going to um, Let's just see if I pick a color from here. All right, and this should be brighter. And then move this down a bit. Let's make it brighter like so. All right, so uh, this should go this way. And I'm going to move this out like so. And this should follow. Now, this is um, OK for now. And I'm going to select the OK button. So let's go straight to the folder. All right. Uh, so, but before we do that, I'm going to reduce the opacity of the gradient map all right so I'll go straight to the group to the folder or to the group and i'm going to you know brighten the face of my subject here so i'll go to the um curve adjustment here and click on the clip icon and i'm just going to move this side up a bit like so and i'm going to hit ctrl i to pass the mask and select the brush tool and now I'm going to zoom in because um, this is affecting um, this side of the face. So I'm going to switch to white and I'm just going to make this side brighter and, you know, go to the brush settings and make sure transfer is checked under the transfer option. Uh, make sure your control is on pen pressure. But if you don't have a graphics tablet, you can just turn your flow down to 10 and you're still going to achieve the same uh, move. OK, so um, so for now, I'm going to make. Um, a new layer about between the two uh, layers and call this shadow make sure that on the dark brown color here all right and I'm going to increase my brush side and just gently apply um shadow to the body of um, my subject here so i'm going to do the same thing here and i'm just going to gently push that out here like so all right so uh for the lady i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to make a new layer call this shadow all right and i'm going to just gently apply the shadow to the character like so so i'm going to do the same thing here i'm just going to gently push this out now this is going outside of my my character's body so i'm going to hold on alt and click to clip that shadow inside um the layer of my subject here all right so then um we're making sense right so i'm gonna go close the group folder and click on the gradient editor and activate uh color balance all right then i'm going to click here because i only want this to affect the um, layer of um, my you know characters here but before i do that let's just go back to the gradient editor i think i still need to tweak things here so uh for this i'm going to add more yellow i'm going to make this go more yellow like so all right so um move this to the side and move this back like so all right let's so this here this go out like so okay and let's select the okay uh, button so for the gradient for the color balance i'm going to start with the mid tone so i'm going to add more yellow to the mid tone so i'm just going to move this to this side and add just a little red to it just small red like so all right let's make it uh, let us make it seven so we need to reduce the saturation of um, our subject here because we're still not really getting that yellow feel on their face on their faces so i'm going to activate hue 
saturation here and i'm going to dial down the saturation like so now notice as i do that i'm beginning to see the yellow on the face of uh, my subject here okay so i'm going to move that down like so all right good so um this is the before and this is the after so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add the black and white adjustment and i'm going to click on the clip icon again because um uh, the color of my uh, on my shadow here is looking too brownish so i want to dial down the strength of the brown right so i'm going to go straight to um red here and i'm going to move red down like so and increase yellow just like so all right so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to blend with this so i'm going to double click on the layer to activate the layer style all right then i'm going to move from this side down now you see we're going to begin to see the black on the shadow now so i'm going to move this to this side and i'm going to break the slider i'm going to move this out like so and move this in like so so i'm going to move this in just like so all right i'm going to select the okay um, button so um what i'm going to do again is i'm going to add selective color because i still want to create more drama on my shadow so i'm going to go straight to black here and i'm going to move this um uh, up like so now let's see the before and after so this is the before and this is the after so i'm going to click on the clip icon because i only want this to affect my subjects all right so uh the last part i'm going to do here is if you look at the cap of my subject here i'm seeing this um you know this reddish yellow color on it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to activate hue saturation again and click on the clip icon i'm going to just move this down but this time i'm going to hit uh, ctrl i to reverse the mask and i'm going to make sure that my foreground here is set to white and i'm just going to gently take this out i'm going to i mean i'm going to add the hue sorry to the cap like so and i'm going to do the same thing to the ladies here so i'm just gonna because i don't want to have that you know yellow on their hair okay this is beautiful so another thing i want to do again you know where added drama to this is concerned is to add curve so i'm going to add curve now and i'm going to drag this uh down like so and i'm going to hit um ctrl i to reverse the mask and i'm going to select the brush to increase my brush size and just you know add the curve back now make sure that your foreground is set to uh white like mine so i'm just going to add the curve back to the scene i'm just going to add the curve to the hair of this lady here all right let's increase the gradient a bit now so i'm just going to move this up like so okay that up like so all right but another thing i want to do here on the curve is um just going to add more drama or like more depth to the skin of my character here so this will be that here all right this is good so i'm gonna do the same thing here again all right so this is looking more like it so i'm going to do the same thing here okay so it's making sense now right so um uh, on the um the car what i'm going to do is i'm going to add um levels to this and i'm going to click on the clip icon because i don't want to have this you know light um color on the on some part of the car so i'm going to move this out like so i'm going to move this this way this this so and i'm going to hit ctrl i to reverse the max and select the brush to increase my brush size and i'm just going to add the highlight back to the car so, so we do the same thing here that we have on um, this so this is okay so i'm going to go to the background layer and activate uh create a new layer and i'm going to call this shadow again and i'm going to hold on alt and pick the shade of brown here and i'm just going to add that to this side of my project like so all right and i'm going to add that here again add it here and i'm gonna create a new layer again Call this shadow again all right and i'm gonna just gently add that back 
here all right then i'm going to make this darker and this time i'm just going to apply it here like so okay now this is good so i decided to make this space for the title of the movie so i'm going to move that position that here yeah, like so all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to add my bikers so i'm going to drag that and drop here and scale this down i'm going to go to the color um, balance here and click on this all right and i'll go to hue again and i'm going to dial down the saturation and go to the color balance i'm going to add yellow to this and then shadow, same thing, yellow, and that green, mid tone, I'm gonna put the same thing, green, should be green blue, and so this should be here, shadow again, it's here, so it's back. So, all right, I shouldn't have had that yellow. Yellow is not necessary. So, I'm going to move this here and move this up here, like so. All right, let's see for the highlight. Let's just. No, let me just move it like so. All right, then um, I've copped this. This should go down and this should go down. Gonna blow this because this should be out of focus. So I'm gonna blow gallery and select few blow. I'm gonna reduce my blow strength to let's say two, and I'm going to select the OK button. Then I'm gonna put this in a group. All right, and this should be here, and we'll make a copy of this, and this should be here, like so. And Move this out here, and this should be smaller, right? Not too big, this should be smaller, right? So, I'm gonna make a filter key, and this should be here, all right? Um, so for this guy here, I think I still need to add more red to the shadow. I'm gonna move red in, so all right, so for the mid tone, let's just add more red, okay? So, this here, this here, so for this. Going to split this out so because um, my project is looking too dark, so I'm gonna move this out here, All right? This, here. this should be okay. So I'm gonna set the okay uh, button. I'm gonna make sure I'm on the very first layer here before I drag my flame in, all right? So I'm gonna make this big and select the enter key and select screen, okay? And this should be here, like so. For my subject here, I think I still need to add more depth to our face. So what I'm gonna do is to create a new layer and call this soft light, light and select soft light, fill with soft light neutral color 15 gray, and I'm gonna call this depth. All right, and select the OK button. And I'm going to make sure that I'm on the bone tool here. All right, this is my bone tool here. And I'm going to scale down my brush. And I'm going to just gently apply the bone to the face of my subject here. Because, you know, most time when designing movie posters, depth is what makes the poster look more interesting. It's what make, give it that professional look. So um, let's see for this um, is I'm going to add curve again. This time this should go down. All right, and this should go down. So okay, and I'm going to hold down Control I to reverse the mask, and I'm going to zoom in. Now make sure that you're on the brush too when you're doing this. All right. So I'm just gonna gently apply this back to the scene like so so if you mistakenly apply the the brush to the part of um your to the part that you don't want on your subject 
you can switch to black by clicking on this icon or you use the x key on your keyboard okay so i'm just going to take this out from here like so we have this is looking more like it so so what i'm going to do now is to take the project to camera so before we do that we need to stamp visible um the layer so i'm going to go to ctrl shift alt and e now before applying the uh, stamp visible shortcut please make sure you're on the very first layer okay so i'm going to right click and select convert to smart objects then i'll go to filter and select camera filter here so i'm going to okay let's just add more contrast and i'm going to um dial down the highlights like so and for the shadow here i'm going to dial that down all right and for the white i'm going to move that up because i want to be able to see you know the highlight on this on the project okay so this should be here and for the texture i'm just, I'm just going to increase that a bit because i want to add more contrast to the pixels all right then um so for i'm going to close this and let's go straight to the sharpen so i'm going to add details to the uh, pixels so i'm going to increase the sharpen like so close this and uh, for the color mixer um so i'm going to um increase the yellow on the project all right now i'm on the saturation tab here okay so i'm going to just reduce the red like so all right this is okay so then i'm going to go straight to the effect so i'm going to add grain to this by increasing the grain now the grain simply means noise so i'm going to add that like so and add venient to the project now the idea of adding venient is to make focus be on um the characters all right so i'm just going to gently add uh, venient to it like so this is good all right so i'm going to select the okay button like so now let's add our title caesar graphics activate text layer again and this time the font that i'm going to use is called i'm going to be using pattern this time it's called pattern all right so i'm going to click on it this is it right here and i'm going to type speed all right and i'll make this bigger like so all right this should be bigger and this should be here so this here right click and select skew and skew it like so just to show that movement um look on the title all right so i'm going to select the two layers and you know centralize this and i'm going to close the tracking because the space be not this not this it should be the title because the space between the letters is too much for me so i'm going to activate the free transform again and just so this here all right so i'm gonna put the date that i promised to release the training which is uh april 12. all right my intention was to release it on april 12. so um colors so i'm gonna make this yellow it should be yellow all right so I'm gonna pick this yellow here stop like so the hue so yeah this is it so i'm going to select the ok button and uh, for this pick the same color all right and select the ok button all right so for the face of my subject here i think i still need to add uh, more red to it so i'm going to double click on the camera of filter and this is the advantage of you converting the layer to a smart object so what i'm going to do is to go under split tone in here and i'm going to say on my um highlight here i want more red so i'm going to increase the saturation like so all right uh so i'm going to redo i'm going to just gently apply red not too much all right not too much okay so this red is fine I'm just move it a bit here and just keep it this way and this is okay so i'm going to select the okay button and this is what we have all right so um i'm going to add the rider of the movie which is dry and let's see if i change the blend mode of that layer to color dodge and i'm going to add tracking to this 
all right and hit the alt key and um i think um we're good to go now and this is it i'm glad you made it to the end of this tutorial if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to click the post notification bell so you get notified when i post my tutorials share like and comment on this video i'll see you again in the next one peace